Hi there, it's Emerson at Tyrium Games. Who put that there? All right, I've got a quick tutorial for you. Uh, what I recently tried to figure out how to do was to put a, a key binding menu into Omada, the game. And I went down the wormhole trying to figure out how to do this using blueprints. Uh, and so I even posed a question on the Unreal um, Unreal uh, subreddit on Reddit asking a question and I got multiple answers uh, and f I did f you know some people said it's a C++ job only then it was Boog Boognish28 uh, came up with a bit of an answer saying you have to dig through the thread but Rama made some b blueprint stuff for this which led me to this page which is um, just search for uh, full project runners UMG rebindable key system rebind keys at runtime uh, and what he's done is he's made one uh, with his geniusness this Rama guy honestly where I don't know where his donate button is but I, I will push it and I will definitely offer up some cash so what you need to do to make this work I'll run you right through it from the start I've um, deleted out I, I made it work and then I've gone it was actually quite tricky there was a lot of little things to, to figure out so I thought I would help you guys help you person watching this sitting there because uh, it's hard and um, I like to help people and if I can't find information then I'll put it up for if I figure it out then I'll help other oh sexy anime uh, I will help other people uh, if I can so first thing you need to do I'm not going to run you through this bit but basically you need to have the victory plugin installed um, and this adds a whole bunch of nodes and stuff to your to your project and I, I originally got it for um, for bone detection uh, but I don't think I ended up using it but uh, anyway so you need that to start with because he's added a bunch of um, nodes to the blueprints so that it, this will work uh, without that so when after you've installed that and figured that bit out then this is where it gets a bit tricky so you download this project uh, and like I have here so I've got the pro rebindable keys I'm going to copy that and I'm going to put that in my unreal projects folder and here's where it gets a bit tricky so you try to open it uh, and I'm on engine 4.7 and it will soon to be 4.8 and here's where things get sticky it starts off straight away so you've got unreal 4 editor victory D ed engine dll would you like to rebuild them you say yes doesn't work it says all right could not be completed try rebuilding from source manually i'm like okay so a bit of trial and error occurred what you've got to do is once you've installed um victory on a working file in 4.6 six or four point seven what you need to do is go and grab in the plugins folder the victory plugin and then in the rebindable keys paste that and replace the files in that then what should happen is so you've copied and pasted the uh, the, re the victory plugin files over the top of the ones in the rebindable key project then you should now this will take a little while especially while I'm recording but you should be able to open it voila so that's that's the first catch the first issue completely smashed that's me punching smashed into pieces I was so happy I was like I've totally got this I have got this oh but why that's loading there's something else I gotta do I've gotta actually get rid of my project and I'll go back to one that doesn't work do, 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 do. That's uh, uh, yes, no keybinds. That's the one I set this up a little earlier. I, let me just pay, bang that in there. All right, so that's launched. So the rebindable key, um, Rama's project here, won't work itself. I don't think. Um, so, I don't know, okay, that's copied across. Press keys. Oh, maybe it will. T. No, no input at all. 
So nothing's happening. So what you've got to do is got to kind of go in and figure out what's going on. Uh, I just did this earlier, but I have a terrible memory, so this might take a few moments just to remember what it was that I did. So basically all the files are in the UMG and the rebindable BP. Um, this one, here we go, there's a compilation error. So here's the thing. When you go to compile, it says um, get the value of key event. So with a little bit of mucking around it, I figured you've just got to join the on key down key event out to the key event compile then it throws up yet another error so that's the first one go from join the nodes to the in key event to the victory key input okay next one remove from viewport so he's got some functions over here to split it up tidy it up remove from viewport uh, is is depreciated so you need to delete that meaning it was only in uh, remove from parent I think it is now remove from parent so remove from parent and then link that up all right so with that in mind we should be cooking with gas so to speak Let's see what happens sky no that won't work he's only actually got two L, let's try that. Okay, L, butterflies, that's it. So we're working. He's only got two bound. So if you if you get caught out with these other ones, he's only got butterflies and forests linked up. So if you find that, no, no, not even butterflies. But in the, in the, my char in his, my character, you see he's got two functions and then in the invent graph, he's got these two. Butterflies and trees are the only ones that are bound, so that's why you'll only see those two. So that's the two first things that you have to do. Uh, hopefully you get, you know, everything works the same for you guys. Um, now, what I did in order to um, copy and paste it across neatly, I will show you in a sec, actually. So then what you need to do is obviously get it into your project. Uh, I have a project where it exists. So I just sent my character. What you got to do is right click on the my character and then you need to migrate that. This, this is what you do for, this will send all of the items um, this is, map is using externally reference packages, won't be found. Yeah, I think that's what I did. Anyway, so this grabs all the pieces. It's got all the animation and stuff which you'll send to your project which you can delete later. You really only need these three. But I'll, I'll do it that way anyway, just uh, for the speed. So what we want to do is um, we want to we want to move this to um, this folder and then go content. So you want to put it in there. Um, and you want to overwrite. So that's migrate. So you migrate it to your game folder. Make sure it's your actual content folder that you send it to. And that will put all of those linked files into your game folder. So now that I've copied those across, this is my other game folder. And, and if you look in the library, you'll see rebindable keys is there. But once I launch this, this is the one uh, from earlier today before I did got the key binding working. So you will, if you're following this, you've made those two changes to uh, Rama's actual project and migrated it to your own. And this should launch eventually. Uh, where's that anime girl? Anime girl picture for you to look at. Um, I just thought I would throw that in. Do 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 do. It's loading. Slowly but surely. It's uh, made less boring by wonderful picture, whoever did this. Um, Alright, so. Um, inside your inside your project, you will have now the UMG um, pieces. They, they're the widgets that'll, that should work. Um, and then within your... Uh, Let's find, where is this guy? 
Um, 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 sorry. I've got to find the character. Um, rebindable BP, sorry. Here it is. So open up the character. Um, he's got two functions that are attached to this. So what I did, I actually um, just copied those and put them into a... Uh, <laughs> got rid of the um, oh yeah, input action, trees and butterflies, so you can get rid of that first. Um, event graph, you can get rid of these bits that he's put in if you just... Yeah. Not that it matters. So, um, you, I'm just actually turning this, ah, oh God, into one big blob of a thing to save uh, the copy paste. So, um, you don't have to do this. You can copy the functions across if you like to be tidy. Me, I'm a bit like messy <laughs> at this point, but it, it just I'd like to keep things as simple as possible. Add keybind to UMG. This is, you know, there's probably programmers out there <laughs> watching this going, oh, how could you do this? Ah, don't forget to link these pins up, by the way, like I did first time around. Aha, uh -huh. so don't forget to link up the array element with the victory keybind, or you will come unstuck. That's important, actually. Right, so then you can grab all of this, actually all of it, and drop it into your own character. Once you've once so grab your own blueprint character. I've got mine for Omada here. Do do do. Um. Then you can pretty much drop it in with a copy paste. And if I remember correctly, what? Uh, yeah, the next thing I need to do is make uh, an, a variable for this rebindable main. So you can, what, what you do is go to the create main by Rama C widget and make a variable off it. You can promote to variable. And then you can just actually rename that one the same. So you can call it uh, re bindable main I think he called it with a capital right and then you can actually delete that if you want if you want to do it the quick way I think if you've got the uh, the same ah well that <laughs> at least it crashed to this <laughs> that crashed my <laughs> system okay we're gonna have to go back to our loading screen here I apologize for that um, I am working on a laptop which isn't ideal. I've got multiple high-core machines, but I'm not in the same place as those machines right now, which kind of puts me in a spot where if I want to uh, remake, um, you know, uh, my own game, I just have to suck it up and work with it. So that's loading away. Sorry about that. Hopefully I've saved. If not, I'll have to retrace those steps. I did compile. I don't know if I saved that. I do have save on compile. Let's see. No luck at all. I don't think. Um, so, I should be able to go down to this guy. And with any luck... Yeah, that's all in one big blob of steel. So, I just copy that. Oh, why are you doing this to me? What's the matter with you? Okay, so paste that in. Now if I compile, it should throw up the area again. Yes, rebindable main. Maybe I will do it the slow way. So, promote to variable. That throws up another. We'll call this rebindable main. Right, then I can do it the slow way. I can do this the easy way or the slow way. Right, let's try that. Don't crash on me. Yes. No crashing today. 
then when we hit play, we should let's uh, start a single player. Let's pick out. Um, let's go with Ninja, just for the sake of this. Okay, now when we hit K, and there it is over here on the left side. It works the same way. So we'll press make that number two and close it. Beware though, it does actually number two. There you go. It changes weapon as well as attacks now. So beware, it does actually change it in your input menu. So uh, yeah, that's that's saved permanently. Um, I'll see what happens when you export it. Hopefully it saves it to the actual config, which would be amazing because Rama is amazing. All right, well, uh, hopefully there's somebody out there. If you have any questions, um, feel free to ask. I'm no, by no means an expert on this, just wanting to help you guys out. Okay. Cheers. Enjoy uh, the sexy anime one more time. Thanks for watching. Cheers.